Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video we're going to build this upgraded Ishin E010 set I just received from Banggood.com. Let me show you all the parts we get in, in this set. So this is everything we're getting in this set. First of all we're getting the Ishin TX03 all-in-one camera. This one is the output is, is adjustable between 0 to 200 milliwatt. We're getting this Biko F3 EVO flight controller that has an FR Sky compatible integrated receiver. We're getting the Ishin X010 frame. And we're getting also these four coilless motors by Chioli. These are 6 mm 59,000 uh, RPM motors. By the way, Bengu did not do a very good job in the packaging. You can see I have got a broken frame, but I'm going to fix it with some hot glue. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to start assembling this kit. So let's quickly weigh this frame. It weighs 5.4 grams. Each motor weighs 1.8 grams. The weight of the all-in-one camera is 4.92 grams. And the weight of the flight controller, including the LiPo wire, is 3.71 grams. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to connect the B core flight controller to the frame. Pay attention, you have here this is the arrow that directs to the front of the quadcopter. We're just going to use the provided screws in order to connect it in this manner. So these are the screws we're going to use. Pay attention, you're not going to use these dumpers, just put it aside, maybe you're going to use it in another build. You might want to solder the battery connector before putting this flight controller or after, it's up to you. I think you can also do it from the top and from the bottom, I think it's a better idea to just solder it here before assembling the flight controller to the, to the frame. What we're going to do, we're going to attach the motors. There is no soldering involved in this process because we have these connectors. We have two kinds of motors, we have clockwise and counterclockwise. We have two colors. These colors are the clockwise and uh, the black and white, this is the counterclockwise, which means we're going to place the clockwise is going to be placed here and the counterclockwise is going to be placed here and again counterclockwise here and the clockwise is going to be placed here so let's attach the motors all we have to do we have to simply slide it and just connect it into this connector here so I finished placing the motors you can see you have also this placement for the wires and the next thing we need to do we are going to attach the camera on the top of the quadcopter. I'm going to attach the camera through this accessory. It also will add protection to the cloverleaf antenna of the quadcopter, so we'll have to just use the three bolts, place it here, and then it will also add this protector. I will have to glue it, and it will provide also a protection for that. We'll add some weight. This weighs 1.14 grams, but I don't think that is that that heavy. And the protection and the fact that it allows a very easy placement of the camera, I think it's worth it. Because the bind pads are going to be blocked by the camera mount, first we're going to bind the quadcopter to the Taranis. In order to bind the quadcopter to the Taranis, you will have to put the mode on D8 channels 1 to 8 then you will have to short these two boot pins and just connect the lipo battery while pressing this is bind this on bind mode so now you can hear the sound you just have to short this bind pads and connect the lipo battery now it's supposed to be bind. Then you can connect, disconnect it and just turn off the Taranis. Before you put the camera mount, make sure 
that the bind process has been finished correctly. Now we can see I'm moving the sticks and I know that the Tyrannus is bind for sure. Later on I will configure it, but just make sure that the bind process has been finished successfully. Now after the mount is placed, we can connect the camera and solder it to the voltage out. Make sure you connect the plus to the plus and the minus to the minus, otherwise you are going to burn the camera. So now the camera is connected. I put some heat rings in order to protect the connector. And I'm gonna put a double-sided tape here just to secure the camera to the quadcopter. So now the camera is connected. I recommend to put some glue here on this protector and make sure that the angle of the camera is good so it has to be like that so make sure it's safely secured next thing we need to do we need to just put the propellers and take it for a test flight these are the default settings of the board the serial rx in enabled on Euroout 2 rx serial and s bus are on and these are the default PID of this board, the roll, pitch and the yo. I had to remove the bottom, the battery holder because it wasn't big enough to this 400 mAh battery. So I just added this rubber band. It also helps to secure the camera. The weight without the battery is 23.8 grams. And if we add the battery is 34.23 grams. So let's take it for a test flight. Stay with me while we leave Don't worry, just believe 